The Chicago Bulls pull out a much-needed dub to help keep securing that ninth seed in their lead over the Atlanta Hawks when they take on the New York Knicks tonight. Well, we're going to talk about it all and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. I'm your host here, Hayes, but more importantly, you guys can follow the channel at Bulls Central Pod on every social media platform we happen to be on. With that being said, let's get into the shits today as the Chicago Bulls are taking on the New York Knicks at home. The Knicks come in with the second best defense in the NBA. While they're middle of the pack of the team offensively, we know that Jalen Brunson is the heart and soul of that New York Knicks offense. And so this is going to be an important game to see how the Bulls can really play on both sides of the ball. Tom Thibodeau, as we are familiar with, is one of the better defensive coaches in the NBA and he is going to make adjustments all throughout this game. And uh, we've got to see how the Bulls and Billy Donovan really do adapt and adjust to that. And while I hate the Knicks, let me be clear here. The Knicks are one of the few franchises in all of sports I actively root against. i got to acknowledge that the, that the Knicks do have a really good team. And if Tom Thibodeau ever can get OG and Anobi and, 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 and uh, Mitchell Robinson both healthy at the same time, as anchors of that defense. In a lot of ways, Tom Thibodeau has kind of recreated in a lot of ways what he did here in Chicago when he was the coach here with that New York Knicks roster uh, when they're fully healthy, which is not going to happen at any other point this season. Julius Randle out for the rest of the season. OG and Anomi may be out into the playoffs, so you know, we'll see what that ends up shaking out for them. But tonight, the Bulls have to be locked in against this New York Knicks team. And if they're not, this is going to be a massacre at home in the UC, and that would be ugly. That would be ugly. People in UC deserve better than that. So let's hope that they don't get absolutely destroyed yet again, but you never know with the Chicago Bulls team. Every time you doubt the Bulls, they come out with a big victory that you don't necessarily expect. I have no idea why I had my headphones on. I'm the only one on the stream today, at least for right now. I invited the guys. They may go ahead and slide through. Um, but we'll see how the Bulls fare in this game against the New York Knicks. The thing is, if the Bulls do have a big win tonight, everybody will be talking about it. The Knicks are one of the better teams right now in that Eastern Conference. They have been throughout the season. And like I said, as much as I hate the franchise of the New York Knicks, they do have a lot of players that I do respect and like their game on that Knicks team. And they've had a hell of a season. 45 wins already on the season. Um, you know, 15 games behind, though, the number one seed, Boston Celtics. The Celtics has had an astronomical season. It's crazy the season that the Celtics have had this year. Um, but hey, the, the Knicks are are in that playoff area. They uh, avoid the play-in unless something crazy happens. It looks like they're gonna they're gonna safely avoid that play-in area. But let's not let them clinch it tonight against us. Let's play pretty well against this New York Knicks team. And if the Bulls do, which we know that they can, the biggest question is just will they? Uh, if the Bulls play like we know that they can play. They can have a solid game tonight against this man, and let's hope that that continues for the Bulls team, man. And uh, yeah, really excited about this game as I am every Chicago Bulls game. I just love to see my team play. I think everybody at this point knows and realizes I am a Chicago Bulls fan through and through. I, I live and breathe Chicago Bulls basketball. Like this isn't it. I, I didn't start the show and then become a Bulls fan like some Bulls content creators. I ain't gonna throw nobody under the bus. Uh, I started the show because I, I I have been a Bulls fan my whole entire life in the state that the franchise is in. You know, that's one thing that that is my shortcoming as a creative. I can admit that is that I'm so emotionally invested in this team that it really just fucks with my mental. Like, it, it really does. And I don't know how many other Bulls fans can attest to that and feel the same way, but I can honestly say this Bulls team sitting in mediocrity, it fucks with my mental every single day. Every single day. Every time I read something, it, it, it fucks with my mental. I hate the place that our franchise is in. I really do. Um, and I want better for us. Um, and I and I and I hope that at some point it comes. Uh, and I don't know how close the Bulls will ever get to winning title number seven, but hell, can we just get a competent team? You know, I, I, it, it's it's crazy that it that this the state that we're in right now has made me appreciate even more that Lou Aldane, Ben Gordon, uh, Kurt Heinrich Bulls before Derrick Rose got there. Because listen, that team was scrappy. That team played with some heart. There were some forty, some forty-two win seasons in that. But listen, you never doubted the heart of that team. This is Chicago Bulls team that we watch night and night. Sometimes I just look at it and be like, how where how did we get here, bro? How did we get here? 
What did we do? What did we do to deserve this? It's bad enough that we lost Derrick Rose. Never Derrick Rose never got to have a prime. But on top of all of that, we got we had to now sit with this shit. This, this front office that is fine with mediocrity, we get to sit here with this front office that, that is going to once again try to, I can smell it. Can't you smell the continuity? I just know that it's coming. I know that the bullshit is coming. I can wake up and smell the continuity. Just take, take it, take it in because it's nothing but continuity and shit. That's all we're smelling right now. I just, I, I, I came to the realization today while recording the daily episode, I literally sitting there talking my shit about, hey, the Bulls could do this and they have flexibility if they do this. And I just looked at it and sat back and said, you know exactly what the Bulls are going to do this season. They're going to sign DeMar DeRozan to a $25 million contract over three years with a player option in the third year. They're going to they're, they're not going to be able to trade Zach Levine. And then they're going to look at it and say, hey, Drum, we can offer you part of the mid-level exception. And Javante, oh, there's a there's a, uh, a, a a veteran minimum for you, and that's our team next year. You know, they, they had the team photos a couple of days ago, and I looked at that and said, why would you have team photos with six games left in the season? You know why? Because they looked at that and said, this is going to be the same exact team plus the rookie we're going to draft. We're running it back next year. I, I just know that that's what's happening. I like. I'd rather be surprised that that's not what happens than go in expecting anything else. Javon Carter is going to be back with his ball headed hoe ass. Lonzo Ball is going to be back with one leg. Uh, you know that's that's going to be a thing. Shout out to that happening. Uh, Andre Drummond. Hopefully we can bring him back. If not, it's going to be Adama Sonogo and a rookie there. That may be the only change. And I just look at it and say, hey. I'm not even surprised anymore, man. I'm really just not surprised. Surprise me. Show me. Surpri I'm supposed to be doing a pregame show. This has turned into therapy because, listen, that's what it's come to as a Chicago Bulls fan. You can't, you can't rely on anything other than know that mediocrity is coming as a Chicago Bulls fan. We may not win another title, but guess what we're going to win? We're going to win the mediocrity awards. That's for goddamn sure. They, they have attached themselves. You know, when Cat Williams was on uh, Club Shay Shay, and he says, you have a, 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 a natural alliance to losers. You got to look at this front office and say, you got a, a natural alliance to mediocrity. You got a, a, a natural alliance to mediocrity. Like, why are you so entrenched and ingrained with being mediocre? What is it? What is it? I have no idea. That's like being happy that you married a five and trouting her up and down to be like, look at my wife. She's a 10, ain't she? No, just understand that you didn't marry her for her looks. Understand she's ugly. Just sit down and shut the fuck up with your ugly ass wife in the corner. Like, don't, don't, don't talk to me. Like that, that's sometimes what you got to tell people, man. It just, yeah. that's my franchise though, bro. I'm going to be here every single day, Monday through Sunday, talking about this team and the mediocrity, the Chicago bullshitters. That's what we're here to talk about, man. It is what it is. Hey, but listen, at least we get to get through it together. Right, at least you got an entertaining show to watch, and you guys know I'm gonna I'm gonna go off, hell off from time to time. At least you got that, right? I mean that that's something to be said about that, right? I, I hope, maybe, we'll see. Maybe I'm as mediocre as the Chicago Bulls. Maybe that's what's happening. Let's go to the comments. Let's see how you guys feeling tonight. Uh, Sydney in the building says, "Will Javante Green be playing tonight? I haven't seen nothing about him being out, Sydney. So I do think he's gonna be playing today." Would you? How would you feel if we if the Bulls were to draft Bronny? Well, considering that. Bronny James is slated to not be drafted, and the Bulls only have a first-round pick. If the Bulls draft Bronny James, that may be the case. I've been a Chicago Bulls fan 37 years. If the Chicago Bulls draft Bronny James, that may be what ends my Chicago Bulls fan. That may be what ends. I'm just going to be 100% honest with you. If the Bulls draft, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just letting you know right. I know I just said I'm going to be here every single day. If the Bulls draft Bronny James with a first-round pick, now if they buy a, a, the, the, the 54th pick and then draft him, that's different. I don't want nobody to come in and be like, well, Hayes, you said you're going to retire. If the Bulls spend a first-round pick on Bronny James live on air, I'm done. I'm, I'm exclusively a Chicago Bears podcaster at that point in time. I'm done. I'm letting you know that right now. I am done. Done with this bullshit. I'm done. Shay ain't gonna call me more. I'm done. Let the Bulls draft Bronny. Try to pull my card if you want to. All the Bulls merch that I have, all that shit, the thousands of dollars worth of shirts, jerseys, uh, uh, uh varsity jack, it's all being burnt. I'm done. I am literally done. I am done. So I no. No, how would I feel about it? That's how I feel about it. It would end a lifelong friendship. I'd be done with the Chicago Bulls franchise if they draft Bronny James. 
Done. What's going on, Bulls Daily? Glad to have you in the building. Is this nice shirt? This is actually, this is all one piece, so it's not like a shirt. It's, it's called a lacquer, I think is what they call it. It's comfortable as shit, too, bro. I'm not even going to front on you. Uh, it's Coach Tom Thibodeau, a great coach. I don't necessarily watch the Bulls during that era, unfortunately. He's a he's a really, really, he's an above average coach. I won't say that he's great because I don't think he's, he's, he can, I don't know if he can get a team over the hump, but he's a really damn good coach. Archangel in the building. What's going on, Archangel? Daniel Barry Sports Highlights in the building. Says happy Friday to everyone. What's going on, Daniel Barry? So the Bulls are playing the Hawks in the plane. Yes, they're basically locked in to play the Hawks in the plane. I disagree. Nobody will be talking about us if we can beat the Knicks. I feel like everyone just hates us. <laughs> I mean, there's something to be said with that as well, bro. I, I, I Listen, it is what it is. Uh... It feels like so long since I've seen the Bulls play. It does. It really, you know, it's become such a standard part of my week. And this happens in the offseason, too. Like, that first week of the offseason, I'm not going to lie to you. My evenings, I have no fucking idea what to do with. Because so much of my evenings during the season are taken up d doing Bulls content that it's just like I have no idea what to do. Talking about you not uh, go through somebody under the bus. You're not going to throw somebody under the bus. You are. Who did I throw under the bus? Did I did I throw somebody under the I don't even know if I did it is what it is. Uh I agree with you. Also also hate the Knicks. Uh I have felt like this since the early 90s. Let's go Bulls facts. Same thing. I hate the Knicks. It messes with my head as well going from Rose to this. I see that's yeah, it is what it is. That team was it was an amazing team to watch. Amazing. What's up everyone? Definitely feel the team uh fucking with your mental. I'd be so depressed not being able to just have a team that I'm proud of and and know they uh they they love repping the city. Man, listen. Not even going front on you. Um y'all know I'm Mr. Bulls merch, right? Everybody knows me for Bulls merch. And every time like if I'm out and I'm wearing it, and they're like, oh, you're a Bulls fan? I'm like, clearly, motherfucker, yes, I'm a Bulls fan. And they're like, yeah, man, hey, 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 you guys haven't been good since Derrick Rose. So I'm like, yeah, fuck you. How about that? Um, I can't wait for this to end because I lost my energy for this team. Not going to lie, but this is my team. I'm going to watch it uh, into the end, but I can't wait. Yeah, listen, I'm always going to watch, right? I'm never going to not watch the Chicago Bulls play. No, no, no. Like I said, if they draft Bronny James with a first-round pick, I'm done. Done. Hopefully, Debo puts us out of our misery and chooses to go to a winning team. Listen, like I said on today's daily episode, the Philadelphia 76ers have three players under contract next year. They have $122 million under the luxury tax. It's going it's, it's to be weird. It's going to be weird. I don't smell continuity. I think DeMar walking this offseason. I mean, let's see. Let's see. Who can like a team named after old-timey uh, poofy uh, short pants? Inconceivable. That's crazy. Uh, stream barely started and already fan haze has come out spitting facts. Hey, listen, at, in the season, so for those that don't remember, right, for those that weren't around, so the end of the first season of me doing this show was the 2021-22 season. That was the season that Lonzo went down, Zach went down and came back, but we won six games out of like the last 32 games. Six. People will tell you, towards the end of that season, my streams were literally me just sitting here being like, yeah, welcome to this bitch-ass team. Like, it just, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> Not even uh, the Mediocracy Award. We ain't even got that far. That's crazy. We competitive, bro. I mean, everybody's technically competitive. A na uh, natural alliance to mediocrity. It's crazy, bro. Uh, <laughs> Leon be no laughing. AK looks at this team uh, side piece and thinks it's a 10, but this shit's like a two at best. We're better than a two, but come on, man. Uh, the Chicago Bulls are going to win tonight. Uh, stop throwing salt. They're going to surprise you. And talking like this, they were 100% healthy. Do you know what throwing salt means? Throwing salt means, hey, the Bulls are never going to win. I didn't say that. Y'all be just using words and don't be, come on, man. Uh, the Bulls out here telling people she a five, but her cooking make her an eight, and she don't cheat, so you can add another two points. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, oh shit, Hayes! I didn't know you was getting down like this, bro. I'm gonna have to tune in more. Oh, listen, we keep we keep it real around here, bro. Like I don't I don't do none of that 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 sugar coating shit just because this is my team. Worst part is that uh, they know we sit through this mediocrity because we too damn loyal to the team. That listen, they have one. We have one of the most loyal fan bases in all of sports, not just the NBA. 
And yeah, I mean, it, 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 they don't really have that pressure on them than some other franchises have. So I just got three teeth pulled today and ready to watch the Bulls kick ass. Shout out to Young Bino for pulling through after getting three teeth pulled. That's no joke, bro. Javon Carter contract might be converted to whatever kind of contract gnomes. Gnomes? Did you say gnomes? That's crazy. <laughs> Yes, I'm happy I'm not the only one feeling the pain of this team. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Edie or come on, bro. Like that that's like that's like asking if you if you want to fucking eat Oprah's ass or uh oh no, see, I was I'm gonna shut the fuck up. That's what I'm gonna do. I am going to shut the fuck up because I was just about to completely kill everything. Everything. Uh, we're done with that. We're done with that. Uh, we won't draft Bronny because that would mean LeBron and and they won't change the roster that much. That wouldn't be continued facts. Well, who needs LeBron? Not Bulls related, but basketball related. Do you think Bronny is worthy of being selected in the 24th NBA, 24 NBA draft? Yeah, you can draft Bronny with a seventh round pick. That's what Bronny is worth in the NBA draft is a seventh round pick. And then it may even be a bit of a reach then. I have a feeling JB will give us a hard time. Not too sure who can contain him. Uh, he has even gotten the better of Caruso a couple of listen. Jalen Brunson is 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 different, bro. That boy is different, and I love watching Jalen Brunson play. Fuck that. We got Kobe. Uh, what we need Bronny for? Get Kobe. I uh, I O. Listen. Don't nobody need Bronny. Don't no. But that's the thing. Nobody needs Bronny. Nobody needs Bronny. Bronny is. Listen, I really hate that that young man is going to go to the NBA when he's not ready. He really is not ready. Uh, would you rest the starters the last three games, and would you tell uh, Batim and Sonogo to ball out? No, nah, I think you want to you want to keep the rhythm going into the plane if you really want to try to win it. That's all I can say. Welcome to this bitch ass team is what I say at work every day. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, them folks at Starbucks kicked me out again because I was sleeping in the bathroom where they claim you think Reverend Jackson will take up my case. I don't think Reverend Jackson's gonna rep crackheads, bro. Like you got You got to get off the crack first before we can help you. Uh, we we mid like J Cole this. Hey, listen. That well, I think that J Cole this was meant to be a jab, not meant to be a knockout punch. Um, and I think also that J Cole really didn't want to diss Kendrick. I think it was like this thing, like okay, keep testing me. Now you got to think about it if you really want this or not. Uh, the press fans and starting five need to put pressure on the front office to build a championship team. Mediocracy needs to be shut the fuck down. <laughs> I don't even know. It, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is at this point. Get ready to what witness the Bulls get cooked. Well, that's the thing. Every time we think that, that's when they surprise. That's what's so crazy about this team, right? That's what's so crazy about this team. Sometimes is that I, I listen. I wouldn't even be surprised if the Bulls get cooked today. But then the Bulls will come out in this game and they'll look amazing, and then we'll be sitting there looking like, what the hell is this? What is this? It's crazy. Lonzo's knee, Bronny. Absolutely, it's weird. Shy Bulls. Now, I invited you on the damn pregame show. Why your ass sitting here in the comments and not in the damn show? I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. How confident or not confident do you think the Bulls will make it out of the playing against the Hawks? Well, I, out that first, that's not even out the plan because they would have to win another game other than that. Um, I mean, I know that the Bulls can beat the Hawks. The problem is that this team wakes up every day and they have to look at themselves in the mirror and wonder who the fuck they are, right? We, we don't know. We You just don't know. Like, the Bulls could wake up the day that they play the Hawks and be like, hey, listen, we're going to play like one of the top five teams in the league and completely dust the Hawks. And then they can go into that game the same morning they wake up and be like, hey, how do we defend a pick and roll? What? You just never know with this team. You never know with this team. My furnace just died, so we're watching tonight on the big TV in the bedroom under six layers of comforters. I mean, listen, TBO got the crack. He can come help you get stay warm, drink some whiskey. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what Bulls team will get. Uh, unpredictables. Uh, you, you never know, Sydney. You never know. LeBron on drugs. A crackhead knows we know. What? What? 
Teams only want Bronny because they know Le- uh, LeBron going to join their team, but only for one season. Bronny liked that fat chick, and Bronny is the, you know, where I'm going with this. Listen, at this point, I don't even know. OG and Anobi is returning tonight? Is that official? Oh, fuck. Yeah, well, never mind, y'all. Never mind. Don't even worry about it. Pack it on up. Pack it on up. No, I'm just playing. I mean, listen, the Bulls can still win this game, but uh, yeah, we don't know. We don't know, man. We have I have no idea what to say about this team anymore. I really just don't know, man. We gotta play uh play to play games. We got we got we got to play two playing games. My brain. See, that's how pissed off I am at the team because we uh, we the ninth seed, right? Or if we win, uh, we threw to the playoffs. No, yeah. So as the ninth seed, we, we have to win the first game and then we'd have to win the game between the loser of the seventh and eighth seed. So, yeah, we got to play two games. Watch the Bulls get out uh, the plane and take the Celtics to six and have the front office say, oh, listen. I'm telling you that don't even worry about it. If the Bulls make it out the play-in and win two games against the Boston Celtics, they're absolutely running it back. That's all. AK would literally, when they win the second game, it don't matter what's going to happen. AK's literally going to go on vacation. He'll be like, we just won the second playoff game. Yeah, yeah, against the Celtics. Yeah, yeah, we won that game. All right, bet. So everybody can go on vacation. But we got another game. Don't worry about it. Everybody can go on vacation. We're in autopilot mode for the rest of the offseason. What are we going to do? We're just going to run it back. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to run. What do you mean? Yeah, I know we only won 40, but we won two playoff games against the Boston Celtics. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have this. We're going to have the season ending press conference. Right. And what I'm going to do is say we took the defending champions to six games. We feel like we have enough to compete. And we're going to say Lonzo Ball's coming back and we're good. We're in there. Yeah, listen, and then with Zach Levine, we're gonna we're gonna start off the season with Zach Levine. We're gonna tell them, listen, we're adding 20 points to, to the game. Those 20 points would have got us over to Boston Celtics. Boom. In a kind of a way, when you think about it, we're really the NBA champions when you think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So no, we ain't gotta trade nobody. Yeah, we're gonna draft pick. We ain't gotta trade nobody. Tell DeMar he can write his own check. We good. Yeah, and, and add three more years to Billy Donovan's contract. Bet. All right, good. I'm going on vacation. I'm gonna put my phone on do not disturb. I'll holler at you again in September. All right, bet. Peace. If the Bulls win two playoff games against the Boston Celtics, that call is exactly what's going to happen between AK and Jerry Reinsdorf. That's it. You you pack it in. You're not getting nothing else. They're not nothing. Nothing else is happening at that point in time. Nothing else is happening, bro. It, 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 it we're done. We're locked in. They're gonna they're gonna write a uh, write a check to God knows who, bro. It don't even matter. Like it just. Everybody, everybody's getting coming back. We're bringing you back, and you're coming back. Everybody's coming back, bro. Everybody's coming back. Whatever happened to the disabled player money we got for Zoe? We didn't use it because we couldn't go into the luxury tax. We didn't do shit with it. We had $10.1 million in an exception that just sat there, and not shit happened, bro. Not shit happened. Bro, that forecast on the front office was pitch fucking pre- That's exactly what's going to happen, bro. Not even everything like it's going to be the exact way that it's going to happen. Billy will be here longer than, than Benny. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. That is funny. It's game day. How's your Friday going, Hayes? The attack, the Bulls play at home tonight. The heart attack, Bulls. Listen, Anthony, here's what I got to say, man. You're getting end of season Hayes. To, for the rest of the season, you got six. Y'all got six games of end of season haze. I gotta pray for y'all because ain't gonna be nothing but me cursing, me me going off on the front office, me telling like it just. I'm the optimism is gone. I have no more optimism left in me for the rest of the 2023-24 season. It's done. I don't care what the Bulls do. The Bulls can blow out the Knicks by 52 points. There, you know what I'm looking at and say, cool. All right, don't do that. That doesn't mean shit. It doesn't change shit. Doesn't doesn't change anything, man. You got to do the voice if you're going to be on the phone. I haven't. I don't even know if I remember how to do the voice I used to do on the phone. I don't even. I have to go back and listen and watch those old episodes because I don't even remember how I used to do the voice. Offseason tomorrow, getting a five year extension. I mean, if we win two games against the Boston Celtics, absolutely, that's going to happen, bro. What? What? What in the name of Diddy and the Dwight Howard is going on with you, TB? TBO, listen, bro. We got to have a come to Jesus moment, bro. Like, listen, if it gets to the point where you're sucking dick for Bulls wins, bro, you're doing too much, bro. 
You're doing too much. Like, like you like pop the di- pop the dick out your mouth, bro. Lay the crack pipe down and go and get you some help, bro, my guy. Go and get you some help, bro. You need some help. You polishing wood for a Bulls victory for a forty win, a thirty six win team. That's what it takes for you to polish some wood as a grown ass man. Just say you want to go to Diddy's party, bro. That's all you got to do is say. Just say you want to go to P Diddy's party. He'll glad. I don't know if he's letting in crackheads, but you know. It is what it is, man. In the season, Hayes cursing the whole team out for not defending the picker. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. What are some changes you would like to see if we don't uh, make it through the plan? Listen, the cha- that's the thing. I don't care if we make it through the plan. I don't care if we win a playoff series. The same shit needs to change. We, we This team does not fit together. This team does not make sense. You got players that like to play fast that are better with playing fast in transition, not running gun, but playing with a quicker pace. And then you have these old bastards who can't play in a quicker pace to save their life. Shout out to DeMar DeRozan. He's adapted his game the best he can to a quicker pace. I got to give him credit for that. Vooch, come on, bro. What are we talking about with Vooch? What are we talking about, bro? Javon Carter don't even know where up and down is. Javon Carter should be the guy in the stands selling beer. That's where Javon Carter should be right now. That ball headed hoe ass nigga. Like that. That's what should be happening right now with this team. It's just a, a, a natural alliance to mediocrity is just weird. Uh, I think I have an addiction to toxic relationships, but at least my Texans are starting to make the right moves. I've been down with the Bulls since post Mike and Texans since the start. I mean, hey, bro, those are too, that's too real crazy ass crazy ass franchise to be a part of i i mean i'm a Sox and a bulls fan so there you go on that one bro the only player i want back is drum oh drum you want drum back gq walking around in sweatpants with ashy lips telling ak I s- you got any of those wins i s- you got any of those wins? I'll polish it. What? Come on, TBO, bro. You got you to get your life together, my, my guy. You got to get your life together, bro. You got you, Stop putting weird things in your mouth, TBO. That's, let's start there. Stop putting weird things in your mouth, bro. Like, just stop doing it. Like, just, I, I, listen, I'm all usually for, I don't usually kink shame. Do do whatever floats your boat, but just stop putting strange objects in your in your orifices, my guy. Just stop doing that, bro. This is what are we doing here, man? What are we doing here, bro? Come on, bro. Like, uh, like, come on. Everybody wants better for you than this, bro. This is not where you have to. You don't have to stoop to those levels, my guy. Let's get your life together, man. The Bulls need to take a look at what the Blackhawks did. Tank to acquire assets. No, they don't need to. Take, that it's it's different though, right? Um, and the fact that it worked for the Blackhawks, hockey's a little bit different of a sport. But like, it typically tanking does not work for the NBA. It just doesn't help. It, it really doesn't usually work, bro. So, Paige, if you had to choose between Paige, bro, I need you to. Commas are your friend, my guy. Commas are your friend. Think about me. Why you got to say fuck my life? Why you got to try to get me to read the, all these names with no commas? Why don't you? Come on, bro. It's bad enough you ain't got no commas in the bank account. You couldn't pick com- I'm just messing with you, Vern. I'm just messing with you, bro. I'm just messing with you. Uh, Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark, or Juju Watkins, who out of the bunch has the game and persona we need to help reboot the WNBA back to where all of them. You need all of them. That's the, that's the thing about the WNBA, that they have a crop of all marketable potential stars coming into their league. You need all of them if you really want to get the WNBA where it's supposed to go. You got an expansion team coming in 2025, maybe even two. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they announce another one before then so they can keep the even number of teams in the WNBA. But you need all the marketable stars that you can get. Yeah, and, and because you do have so many coming into this, into the league, you potentially could have one on each team. You got to get it together. You got to get it together, bro. Damn, I saw a dude doing crack on the on the train the other day. What if it was TBO? No, you would have known if it was TBO. Let's trade, release, cut, Vooch, please. Let's trade, release, and cut him. Damn, you really want him to get out of there. 
Um, Angel Reese to the Chicago Sky. I mean, let's hope so. I don't know, Deanna, if you're subscribed over to the Chicago Sky Central. I don't even know if you knew we had a Chicago Sky Central. But go over there. We talked about uh, the, the the Bulls. Uh, Bulls. The Sky potentially get Rakia Jackson and Angel Reese in this upcoming draft. That would be a great start uh, to the to the reset of that franchise. So. V Dog said, fuck up some commas. Yep, absolutely. At this point, how can the WNBA keep so many talented people from going to Europe? Well, I think that players want to stay in the W, want to go to the WNBA. And the WNBA's collective bargaining, this is how y'all know I'm deep in my WNBA bag. The, the WNBA's collective of bargaining agreements coming up this uh, after this season. And I and I think that the contracts are going to see a nice raise. But keep in mind, too, the thing that also is could help keep the WNBA afloat is that players can keep their NLI con NL NIL contracts going to the WNBA that just as long as it's not also a vendor uh, or an outlet that the WNBA already has a sponsorship with. So uh, that's why you're seeing a lot of uh, these W these uh, women's college players come to the WNBA now because they're able to keep a large portion of that NIL money. So while Caitlin Clark, for example, is going to make about 300,000 on her uh, WNBA contract, uh, per year, not not overall, but per year, she's still going to be getting probably between two and three million dollars from NIL money. And if she was was she, if she was to go over to Europe, she wouldn't be able to keep the NIL money at all. So that's gonna that may help keep the stars going to the WNBA. I think I think a lot there. So. Javon Carter wouldn't make it on the Chicago Sky. That's crazy. No, he would make. Come on now, he would make it on the Chicago Sky. Nikola Vucevic. Hope he has a great night tonight and scoring. Listen, Anthony. I love how Anthony Vargas always just stays on topic. Like we can get, we we can start talking about whatever else. He's gonna bring it back to the Bulls, man. Uh, they still play overseas anyways. Not all of them. Not it's, it's not nearly as much anymore. Mobilized. Like, a lot of them still do, but the top-end stars, they don't. A lot of them play in the Athletes Unlimited tournament now, but not a lot of them are going over to, overseas anymore. Not the top-end stars. You get a lot that still go over there. First, first, JDH, I'm sorry. I know that you have your whole false alpha male thing, but those girls would absolutely hoop you up, even at your prime, whatever. So, no, don't, don't ever disrespect me. Not not in this one, bro. This is not the one to do that. I'd say there's probably more NBA players that deserve to be cheerleaders for the WNBA than vice versa. Uh, is it rough uh, being a Sky fan after two years in a row of gutting the team? So for everyone who wants the Bulls to blow it all up, no. I mean, listen, it's it. I think with the with the WNBA, it's a little bit. It's easier to get back as long as you keep your picks. And that's why, you know, the sky trading and getting two picks in the top top eight that they have now is important, right? Because I think that could really help jumpstart the rebuild of the team. And this is a deep draft for them to do it in. So um, since Drummond is likely gone this offseason, Barn, AK being a, a remedial person, uh, Vooch needs to start coming off the bench and the Bulls need to get a new starting big man. I mean, you're, that's unlikely to happen. Vooch is more than likely going to be starting next season uh, because it's not like the Bulls are drafting in the top five. I think that you're going to see another another season of Vooch starting, and then you, you're, hopefully they draft a big man that they can develop. So People don't realize how good WNBA players are. They really don't. They really don't realize how good WNBA players are. Are you going to watch ba uh, basketball college? Basketball college or college basketball? Which one do you mean, Anthony? No, but I'm, I'm, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, if Dawn Staley wins the championship again, where would she rank for you among the GOAT coaches of college? But, she's definitely top 10. I think she's top 10 anyway. Definitely top 10 anyway. No, not even the Bulls are that stupid. As much as I'm, I'm over this franchise, I'm not even going to say that that's, that, that's uniquely stupid. Right. That I'm talking about that's uniquely stupid to the point to where it's like that that's somebody who literally uh tries to wash their face in the toilet stupid. They think that it's a it's a face bowl instead of a toilet bowl. Like that you 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 can't do that, bro. You can't do that. Is it easier to move off Zoe's expiring contract or Carter's? Well, Carter's isn't expiring. I don't think it's easy to move off either one of them. None of them. Probably because Zoe's is expiring, it may be easier, but eh. 
Gangsta Dawn. I love her for it. Dawn is Dawn is such a jewel. She's such such just in the way that she believes and rocks with her players, even after they're gone. It's just she's such a such an important and amazing coach, man. So I draft Bronny because he got the potential to be true, a true goat. Bro, like the 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 cocaine's definitely getting to you, bro. You got you got to stop it, bro. What's good, little bro? I know you a baller, so uh, to see Green back is a win for Hoopers to watch. I mean, listen, Green just like you said, he's just a baller. He finds he always finds a way, always finds a way. You got you got to love love him for that. But yeah, man, we're gonna see how this team plays tonight. I wonder if we got the starting lineups. I've been over here ranting for basically the last twenty minutes, so. Uh, starting lineups aren't out yet at all. I own Kobe are going to be hot tonight. Hey, let, let's see. We'll see. Bronny ceiling is slightly above average D league role player at best. Dude is not ready for the at all. He's just not ready. He's just not ready. Would you trade uh, Zoe and Carter contracts uh, to the Golden State Warriors for Wiggins knowing he won't live up to it? Yeah, because I know he's going to be able to get on the court, though. Like, And Wiggins is a player that I think that, yeah, I would do that. Absolutely. Uh, Bulls giving Jay Carter a max contract, trading up to the first pick and taking Brian. That's crazy. Bronny getting drafted is nepotism at his whole they're like the fact that his whole life he owes to nepotism. Like, and don't get me wrong, at the high school level, Bronny was known as a he was a really good de de positional defender. Uh that really didn't translate a lot to the NCAA level. And there, if Bronny James was anybody other than LeBron James's son, there's no way in hell he'd be going to the NBA right now. Nobody would be telling him, everybody would be advising him against doing that. But because he is who he who Sonny is. People aren't doing that. And, and it's just like, why set the kid up for failure? And that's what people are doing. And they know they're doing it, right? And don't get me wrong. Bronny James is going to he's gonna make some money. Just imagine, there's going to be that whole year of all the advertisement that they're going to get on Bronny, LeBron, Bronny on the same team. Like, all the things. They're going to be in every commercial together, everything. And, and I hope that it's worth it. Because that it's going to come via not having a real NBA career. He's he's a sideshow. That's, that's what he's going to be. Uh, can the Bulls draft me? I'm not good, but I know basketball can be consistent and competitively bad. That's hilarious. I mean, hey, they might as well. If they're going to draft Bronny, they might as well, right? I think a lot of us can contribute the same level that Bronny can. Getting cooked. Starters, same starters tonight. Kobe, Io, DeMar, uh, Alex Caruso, and Nikola Vucevic. That's out today. Not going to lie, I think we are going to be better next year. I hope so. Like, that, like, this is not one of those things where I'm like, I hope the Bulls are bad. Like, that's always weird to me when people, like, root against their team or players on the team just so they can be right about something. Like, I hope what I hope whatever moves AK makes this season take the Bulls into the stratosphere. I truly hope that that happens. But they got to show me. You got to show me at this point. You got to show me. I feel like the national media is afraid to say Bronny sucks. All of them are gassing this boy up, saying he, his skills will translate to the NBA, not college b-ball. I saw news outlets saying that. That's crazy. I haven't watched any ma ma mainstream uh, media on the Bronny situation because there's no point. He sucks. He sucks. Well, let's just be clear here. Let's uh, real talk. Bronny has B-plus defense, A, athleticism. He's a good passer. He just need No, he's not. He is not an A athleticism. And high school he was. He doesn't have NBA level athleticism at all. He doesn't even have college athleticism. His his defense was a B in high school. In college, maybe a C minus, and that's giving him some. And he's not a good he doesn't read defense as well. He doesn't have he has high basketball IQ as far as like he can learn plays really good, but he's not a he's not an above average passer. I don't know what you're watching. Lonzo's left knee. That, that, none, nothing you just described is actually Bronny James. None of them. His heart couldn't. That's a fucked up joke. That was a fucked up joke. I'm see. I'm glad that God stopped, made was like, "Hey Hayes, you tripping on that one?" So, 
I was about to say something about his heart not being able to defend, but I'm going to leave that alone. I'm just frustrated right now. That's all. Brazil properly says, yeah, for reals. This season, we were especially hurt by injuries. Last season, we were considered we were considerably healthier. Yeah, and look at where we finished last season as well. Bronny will be great at uh, warming up the last seat on the bench. That's crazy. If Ball plays next year, I don't see him guarding quicker guards, but I do see him uh, just taking threes offensively. I don't even I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Uh, do you love the direction of the sky's rebuild so far with two championships, Teresa Witherspoon and, and uh, D Wade at the helm? I don't know how much D Wade is actually at the helm. Um, I just don't know that. Uh, with Coach Spoon, I'm always going to love Coach Spoon there, but I can't say I love the direction until I see what they do in the draft. I have to see what they do in the draft before I feel comfortable saying whether or not I love the direction they're going. I love the position that they put themselves in with having the two picks this this year that they have, but I can't say anything for sure until they actually draft. I guess you could say Bronny's heart won't be in it. I feel like uh, I feel like shit just saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the team was fully healthy, uh, including Zoe, what would be the starting lineup with Kobe and Io playing? Well, well Io probably be coming off the bench. I, I, just, I, I don't know if you move Kobe to the two. Like, I don't know. I have no idea. Let's say we do get in the playoffs. How far uh, you think we're going? Oh, the parking lot? I don't, like, barely? I, I, the, I, the gym? How far are we going? In the playoffs? Playoffs? Uh, mm -mm. Uh, I want Coach Spoon to coach the Bulls. Well, that ain't going to happen. I'll take Caitlin Clark over Bronny every year. Absolutely. Take, go to Brazil Popular's question as well. Who do you think is better, Bronny or Leroy? Javon, Leroy Javon Carter would absolutely cook Bronny James. Absolutely cook him. Cook him. Jello Ball is probably a better NBA prospect than Bronny James. Like, real talk. Real talk. It's Bronny James doesn't even have the potential to be Antonio Blankeny at the G League level. I own Kobe will be coming off the bench if everyone's healthy. And Billy wouldn't give them more than 12. No, they play more than 12 minutes because they all put they both played more than 12 minutes when before when everybody was healthy. So uh hey, is Lonzo staying this offseason? Yeah, probably. Bronny or Felicio? Felicio every single time. Every single time. The Nassis. Thanasis versus Bronny. Hmm. Thanasis wins by 125. Bronny's ceiling is Denzel Valentine. I don't even know if it's that. His ceiling may be Marquise Teague. That, that's the perfect comp. Marquise Teague and Bronny James are the same player. Same player. Same damn player, bro. We got Brother Corn in the building. Says, I'm just checking in. I hope we get this W against the team. I hate the Knicks, Kings, blessings. Absolutely, bro. I'm right there with you, man. Pat the designer. Pat, come on now. You know I'm picking my brother. We definitely picking Pat the designer over anybody. What are we talking about? Bronny is going to be exactly like Sharif O'Neal, a legacy child with NBA aspirations, but likely won't make it due to shit out of his control, will likely barely have an NBA career. Oh, no, it's in Bronny's control. He sucks. That's, 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 it. he sucks. I said what I said, and I stand on it, man. Absolutely, utterly stand on it. He's trash. Cheeks. But anyway. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get ready to wrap up the live stream, man. I love you guys. Thank you for sitting through this pregame show with me. We've been talking talking crazy the whole entire time. It's been crazy, bro. Uh, but I love you guys, man. Make sure you guys are following the show at Bull Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, bullcentralpod at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail for the mailbag, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are. 
the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. Thanks to you guys. And like I like to end every episode on, go Bulls. Love you guys. See red if you can, y'all. Let's get this dub on game day. And I'll be back at halftime. Love you guys. Go Bulls, y'all. Peace.